Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Gemini. Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, help me to give a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Gemini. If you'd like to make any donations towards my channel, you can find the link in the description section. If you would like to get a membership, you could find that information in the join section. Or if you would like to get a super to help support this channel, you could find that information in the thanks section of the page. All right, I scurried the crystal for you today, Gemini, and the image I saw within the crystal for you was a white bird flying. And at first, it made me feel like it was a seagull, or it could possibly have been a dove. So take it how it resonates for you. Um, like I say, you could have more than one spirit animal. And if it was a dove, then that symbolizes peace. And one of the things also that the seagull symbolizes is being very perceptive, being connected to the spiritual realm, and being able to sense when danger is near. So that kind of coincides here with the high priestess card that came out for you, but we'll get into that in a minute. So it's the seagull is able to sense, you know, storms brewing, and it's also very perceptive and also symbolizes new beginnings and hope. All right. The first card to come out for you today was the Knave of Wands. So with the Knave of Wands being here, that is receiving some type of news here, some type of message. Next card out for you is the Lovers. So with the Lovers card coming out here, I feel like you're going to receive a message of love. This is someone that, you know, thinks the world of you. This is someone that is, you know, committed to you. Next card out is official person. So this person has a lot of authority, a lot of high rank. The person that is courting you. Mature man. So this person it could possibly be older than you or just holds himself with a lot of maturity. Next card out is privileged ladies. I feel like this is your energy. This person wants to make you a privileged lady. They want to take care of you. They want to nurture you. They want to support you. Next card out is courtship. So this person is going to be courting you. If this person's not in your life yet, then they will be. Um, they want to court you in a very traditional way. This person will have a lot of respect for you. Next card out is wealthy man. So this person is going to be very financially secure is what I'm seeing here. Next card out for you was high priestess. So just like what I saw with the seagull and the crystal, it's telling you to rely on your intuition, you know, to trust God's gift to you, that you have a spiritual connection to God, and that he communicates to you through all types of ways, through dreams, symbolism, um, you know, first instinct. Next card out is sudden wealth. So you're entering into this, you know, very financially secure, stable, lots of abundance energy here. And the next card out is courthouse. So when you're doing financially well, sometimes the vultures come out. So I feel like there's going to be someone that is going to try to cause a uh, issue with you and your significant other and try to take you guys to court for some type of bogus thing for your money. Yep, that was clarified by thief. So this person is, you know, just trying to swindle you guys. They're just trying to take your what is rightfully yours and your significant others so this person is in this very thieving energy next card out is child so this could be some type of um something to do with custody take it how it resonates it'll apply differently to everyone perhaps someone is trying to you know all of a sudden take custody of your child so that you have to pay them child support you know because they're just trying to get the finances you know take it how it resonates Next card out is high honor, but you're going to come out on top in this. You're going to, you know, overcome what this person's trying to do with the high honor card because they're going to see that you're the one taking care of this child and that the finances and everything, you know, rightfully belong to you and your significant others. You're going to come out on top in this. All right. Next card out for you was Hawthorne, heart healing. So this is letting you know that, so, you know, release childhood traumas. Um... You know, that is when we're, when we're children, you know, everything is new, everything is in a scene in an innocent light, and everything, you know, is at first, you know, beautiful. But that's also when our hearts are like first broken, when we start realizing pain. And it's letting you know that to release those childhood traumas so that you can, 
you know, grow and keep growing and, you know, it's not like a dead weight holding you down. Uh, the medicinal benefit of the hawthorn tree is helps the heart circulatory system when it's made into a tea. Next card out is Fall Equinox, release with the Buffalo card. So the same thing, you know, it's letting you know to release things that no longer serve you. Let what is meant to die, die. So it's letting you know that, you know, to release anything that caused you hardship, anything that no longer serves you, release that negativity so that you can continue to enjoy your life. All right, Gemini, if this resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.